How to use the virtual terminal on the Valor portal. Click on Virtual Terminal on the left navigation menu. Across the horizontal menu, there will be a list of all the different payment options that every merchant will have access to in a virtual terminal, including sale. A sale supports line items. Line items will be the merchant's inventory that gets built into the settings tab. Under the line items, it will show the item name, SKU, category, description, quantity, unit cost, tax, and total. Below that, you'll notice an option for discounts. Preset discounts can be built so they can be selected during a transaction. The virtual terminal supports recurring billing. Recurring billing is supported by both subscription and installment options. Valor's virtual terminal also provides the ability to run an authorization, a refund, and an e-invoice. An e-invoice is a one-time payment link that could be sent out through a text message or via email. Once the payment has been submitted, the system will then register the transaction to the transaction module. Another option within the e-invoice is a PayNow link. Click on the PayNow link toggle to switch from the default setting. PayNow links can be kept open for an extended length of time or set up to never expire. They can be set as a fixed or flexible payment. If you're looking for a QR code payment, click the QR code menu option on the horizontal menu. A QR code is similar to a PayNow link with a fixed or flexible payment option. The last option on the horizontal menu is the cash payment option. On the top right-hand corner, you will see an EPI drop-down. Click this drop-down to see all virtual terminals by EPI. Click on the top right-hand button, Manage. The Manage section shows e-invoices and PayNow links. In this section, recurring billing can also be managed by customer. Their whitelist IP addresses and API keys for any e-commerce integrations.